Welcome to Code Effectively. The topic for today is again output prediction. We have to predict the output of this source code. This is the part 5. I request you to please watch the previous part so that you have a good grasp on output prediction. Let's start. In this, I am giving this code and we have to find what will be the output or what will be the final value of Q. We have to estimate the final value of Q. So let me start. See, we are given M and P Q. So let me write the values out here. M N then P, um, let me give it P and we can find P O. Okay, so now let's start. Initially given me Q is 0. So now let's start with M equals to 2 in the for loop. Okay, and as soon as M is equals to true, 2, the condition becomes true as M is less than equals to 3. The condition is true. We will come inside the loop. See, the examiner might confuse you with this plus plus m and n plus plus these both are same or they have the same significance when we are using in the for loop they have different significance if we were we using in an expression this is not an expression we are using this in a for loop so they is two line plus plus m or n plus plus that is post increment or post increment in for loop means the same okay so now we will come inside this for loop n is equal to 1. n is equal to 1, what it will do? It will check m is le n is less than equal to m. 1 is less than equal to 2. Condition true. The loop will come inside and p is equal to m plus n minus 1. p is equal to m plus n. m is 2, n is 1. That is now 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus and 3 minus 1 gives you what? 2. So p is 2. It will check p modulus 3 equal equal 0. When we will divide p by 3, the remainder is 0. Let's see. No, the remainder is 2. The condition is false. So, we will do q is equal to q plus p plus 4. q is equal to q. q itself is 0. So, 0 plus p. What is the value of p? 2 plus 4. So, what it is giving? 6. So, first value we got is 6. Again, we will go n will be now 2. It will check 2 is less than equal to m. Let's see less than equal. So 2 is equal to 2. The condition is true. Now again it will be P is equal to M plus N minus 1. M plus N. M plus M. So what is 2 plus 2? 4. 4 and then minus 1. That will be 3. Now P is 3. It will check. 3 modulus 3 equal equal 0. When we will divide 3 by 3 the remainder will be 0. The condition is true this time. It will be now Q is equal to Q plus P. What is the value of Q? 6. 6 plus P. What is the value of P? 3. So it will be now 9. The new value will be of Q will be updated will be 9. Again N value will be now 3. As soon as N is 3 the condition become false. As 3 is not less than equals to 2. The condition is false. Again now M value will be increased. M is now 3. Now, M is 3. M is less than equals to 3. Let's see. 3 is less than equals to 3. 3 is equal to 3. So the condition is true and we will come inside the loop. Now n is 1 again we will start n is 1 n is 1 it will now come inside the loop and p is equal to m plus n minus 1 m 1 3 plus 1 minus 1 it is 3 only so 3 modulus 3 is 0 so condition true so q is equal to q plus p so what is this 3 and what is the value of p 3 so q is now 12 now new value of q is 12 again m n value will be not 2 n value will be not 2 it will come inside p is equal to m plus n minus 1 it will be 3 plus 2 minus 1 that gives out to be 4 so 4 modulus 3 equal equal 0 condition false as soon as the conditions fall it will be q is equal to q plus p plus 4 that is q value is not 12 12 plus p what is the value of p 4 then again plus 4 because it is q plus p p plus 4 so now it will be what it will be 20. Now the Q value is 20. Again the loop will go up and the now N value is 3. 3 is less than or equal to 3. Condition true. P is equal to M plus N minus 1. M is 3. N is 3. 3 plus 3 gives you 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. So P value is now 5. As of now P value is 5. So 5 modulus 3 equal equal 0. The remainder is not 0. It is 2. So the condition is false. As the remainder is true is 2. The remainder is 2. The condition is false. Q else will be executed and this will be Q is equal to Q plus P plus 4. Q in it now value is 20, 20 plus P. P is 5 and plus 4. So it gives out 29. Q is now 29. So we got the Q value. Let me write it 29, the Q value. And now N is equal to 4. As soon as N is equal to 4, it will check. N is less than equal to M. 4 is less than equal to current value of M. Current value of M is 3. Condition is false. Again, now M will be incremented. It will be 4. 
4 is less than equal to 3. Condition false. So, it will come outside all the loops. As soon as the loops are terminated, we will get a final value of Q. Final value of Q is 29. So, our answer is 29. If you run this code on your laptop or on your mobile or any IDE, you will get the same answer that is 29. If for instance, the examiner may ask, okay, tell me the current value of M and N also after executing. You can say, okay, the current value of M was now 4, N was 4 and P value you can also give. If asked, it's 5. Okay, these are the current values. Hope you understand this program. If you understand this logic, go and try at yourself. And if you don't get, then do comment me in the comment section. And if you like this video, please go and subscribe the channel and share the videos with your friends. Thank you for watching the output prediction video.